Good day Dynacom family. In today's video, we are going to show what are the type of the cylinder liner we are. But before going on further, I would like to tell you that why the cylinder lubrication is important and what are its properties. Cylinder lubrication is to keep your cylinder liner and the piston ring well lubricating. It reduces the friction between your piston ring and the liner. It neutralizes the combustion products and it keeps your engine and running components clean. The cylinder oil dosage is proportional to the sulfur content of the fuel which we are using and the load of the engine. That is the amount of fuel going to the engine. Generally, there are the three types of the liner wear. Corrosive wear, abrasive wear and adhesive wear. Abrasive wear is generally occur due to the hard particles rubbing against the each other. Now the question is from where these hard particles are coming inside the combustion chamber. They can come from your fuel because there are so many impurities are present in your fuel like cat fines, silica and aluminium. Or it can come from the combustion air. If your turbocharger filters are not clean and are not well maintained, then it can go to your combustion chamber. Unburnt carbon particle, that is the hard suit present in the combustion chamber, can also be the one of the reason. Excessive wear particles from other type of wear can also cause abrasive wear. Now, how we can reduce or minimize this type of wear? We can reduce by better fuel treatment or better fuel handling. Or by properly maintaining your turbocharger filters or by proper cylinder lubrications. This will help us to reduce your abrasive type of wear. The next type of wear we are going to talk about is corrosive wear. Corrosive wear, generally known as cold corrosion. And how this is occurring? It's occurring because of the formation of acid inside the cylinder liner. Sulfur is present in your fuel and oxygen is coming for your combustion. So this sulfur reacts with oxygen forms SO2. So if there is any moisture or condensate present in your combustion chamber, this SO2 react with that and it will form H2SO4. As we all know, H2SO4 is highly corrosive in nature. So this will cause corrosive wear on the cylinder liner. Now how this moisture is coming inside your combustion chamber? It can come if you are maintaining jacket water temperature low or maybe your fuel which you are using having high content of water or the purification has not done properly. This mostly occur in the lower part of the liner because the temperature in the lower part of the liner will be less compared to the upper part of the liner. Now how this moisture is coming inside your cylinder liner? This can come if your mist catcher is not working properly or you are maintaining scavenge temperature low or your jacket water temperature is quite low. This can cause the condensation of water inside the liner. And this generally took place at the bottom part of the liner because there the temperature will be quite less comparatively to the upper side of the cylinder liner. One way to avoid this is by lowering a cooling water temperature. With the lower cooling water temperature, the air cooler and the water mist catcher will remove more water from the compressed scavenge air when operating in warm, humid areas. This has a positive effect on the cylinder condition as the humidity level in the combustion gases is lowered and thereby the tendency of condensation of acids on the liner wall is also lower. The next type of corrosive wear is clover leafing. Clover leafing generally occurs Either your BN of the cylinder oil is not matching with the fuel sulfur content or the cylinder feed rate is inaccurate. It's not neutralizing the combustion products as it moves away from the lubricating quills. Apart from this, corrosive wear can also occur by the cleaning agents which we are using in your air cooler cleaning. If the air cooler has been cleaned and it is not properly flushed with your fresh water, then it can also cause corrosive wear on the cylinder liner. Another type of cylinder liner wear is adhesive wear. It's also known as micro scissor. And why this adhesive wear generally takes place? It's happening because when your piston is moving inside your liner, there is a friction between them. So if there is a no oil film is present between them, then it will lead to excessive generation of the heat, which will cause instantaneous tack welding but the piston is moving downward. It will leave a vertical scoring mark on the cylinder liner. And why it's happening? It's happening because of your cylinder feed rate is insufficient, is not neutralizing your sulfur content of the fuel. It can also occur if your oil film is not retaining on the cylinder liner. 
And why it will happen? Either your slender liner is polished, and this slender liner polishing can take place if BN of oil is excessive or feed rate is excessive. It will lead to the formation of hard deposit on the piston rings or the piston. So it will eventually wipe up the oil film from the cylinder liner wall. Cylinder liner wall will be direct contact with the piston rings and it will cause more wear on the liner wall. And eventually it will wipe off all the honing marks from the cylinder liner and this is known as liner polishing. Cylinder liner wall have a honing marks which help in retaining the lube oil film on the cylinder liner wall. But since the liner is polished, so oil retaining capacity of cylinder liner is completely gone. So whatever oil we are injecting, it's not retained by the liner walls. It will result metal to metal contact of cylinder liner walls and your piston rings. This adhesive wear can also be occur if your engine is overloading or your piston rings are collapsed. So because of that, there will be too much friction between your cylinder liner and the piston rings. How to avoid adhesive wear? We can avoid by using correct BN oil with adequate feed rate, keeping lubricating equipments maintained and by regular inspection of cylinder liner and the piston rings. So to know the actual condition of your cylinder liner as well as your piston rings. We can also do the oil analysis of the scrap down oil which will give you a better result to know the actual condition of your cylinder liner and whether we are using correct BN or not. Another thing that may cause wear is the use of low sulfur fuel. Ships operating on low sulfurs, very low sulfurs engines, they are all faced with an issue of keeping the piston rings, piston ring lands and the ring grooves completely clean. And if we don't, we end up with the serious issues to the piston rings. The challenge we face is the controlled deposit of low sulfur. Now, the reason why detergency cleanliness is important is that you have to look at the piston rings and imagine the function that they have inside the engine. They are the sealing surface between the piston and the liner surface and they are flexible and they have to move. They have to fit to the deformation of the liner surface. They have to adjust to the formation of the piston crown itself. They have to adjust to the liner wear that has been caused over time and for this, they need to move freely. We need to get combustion pressures to the back of the piston rings to secure a seal against the liner surface. And all these things are challenged if there is a heavy deposit, which in case of using low sulfur fuels might be. As a countermeasure, we share high BN and low BN oils. We use each grade on weekly basis when consuming VLSFO. And basis the cleanliness of the piston top land, we adjust the number of the days accordingly. We change over the cylinder oils without changing the feed rate. If you change the feed rate also, you ignore one of the three characteristics of the oil. That is the lubrication. As an example, if you need less BN, you change to the lowest BN oil. However, when you also reduce the feed rate, you affect the oil film also and consequently the lubrication. I hope today's video was useful. In today's video, we showed the type of cylinder liner wears and how it's happening and how to avoid this type of cylinder liner wears. In future, we will emphasize on each of them individually with a wish for a smooth sea and tailwind. It's goodbye for now.